if you would have gone back eight weeks, the Lions would were one and six, Jeff. Yep. They had a head coach who was 0 11 and one on the road, who had never won a home game as the Lions head coach, or excuse me, a road game, who, for the most part, found ways to lose games, and that's all he knew how to do. And somehow, some way, the last seven, all he knows how to do is win. And I am here for it. Jeff, it wasn't it wasn't the pretty offense. It wasn't the overwhelming run game. It wasn't the deep shots to JMO, even though Jared Goff missed one. You know, we'll get into the detail. It wasn't it wasn't anything that you would have scripted, right? It wasn't the perfect game, right? I, you go into Sunday, I tell you, hey, how are the Lions going to win? You wouldn't you wouldn't chalk up one offensive touchdown, would you? But now they're doing something they've never done under Dan Campbell. They're getting all three phases of the game and putting them together. Special teams, you got seven from them. Defense, hell of a job stopping the run. And then your offense. When you needed it most, when you were down 17-13, they came up with the plays. They come up they came up with the play calls that allowed you to win the game. Defense, stifling. Granted, Robert Sala and the timeouts, we can get to that a little later. But down the stretch, you forced a very difficult kick. Outdoors, wind gusting everywhere. And Zerline, sh- I don't want to say shanked it, but he, he far, pulled it, man. Yeah, it he pulled left. it. Yeah, it was far left. Credit due. Offense, defense, special teams all showed up. Mm-hmm. And it's been like that for seven weeks now. 